Uh, first of all, I just wanted to show you, it was a suggestion uh, by Joy that um, on uh, YouTube that I um, put a banjo fitting rather than the um, hand fitting with the 120 degree because it sticks down just below the frame I might hit it if I drive up into a concrete block or something in a parking lot so he was suggesting that I figure out a way to put a banjo fitting here and then I went oh, okay I'll go one step further I'm gonna machine a little block of aluminum that allows me to put an and fitting at uh, a right angle so it'll be internally 90 degrees um, so I'll just take a one and a half by one by two inch block of aluminum and I'll just machine it so that I can then tap in and then instead of it sticking way down and looping up it'll it'll come right out the side and a 90 degree fitting to the hose will go right up there so that's what I'm going to do so this is G-Mat, it's kind of like Hush Mat or Dynamat it's about a half a pound of weight per square foot for dampening uh, vibrations and, and metal panels and also um, heat heat transfer so I've got it on the floorboards and um, up onto the firewall and such so wherever the engine noise the, the um, exhaust system noise is it's going to be uh, dampening that um, the factory also has it against these panels here just to keep the external panels so I'll also do them on the insides of the doors especially around the speakers and then I've done it at the back uh, just on the side where the exhaust system runs and uh, I'll also have this uh, carpeted with um, a rubber backed uh, fairly heavy rubber backed carpet so I don't want to put too much weight back into it I'm trying to make this car as absolutely light as possible but uh, I also want it to be quiet because a noisy car is not a lot of fun to drive around. I've driven and made lots of fast cars over the years and I find the ones I enjoy the most are actually the ones that are civilized. Um, nothing much going on here except that I did get the nitrous system. Let's see if I can look around here. Um, I did get the nitrous system plumbed. So, oh, and I also got these um, the little number fours. I figured out I got the, uh, the nice, um, I'll show you the tool in a second, uh, tools for cutting and then uh, threading the, um, the number four ends. When you get to a number six end it's not as hard to get the, uh, the ends in here but boy the number fours are a bitch so these little plastic lines are the nitrous uh, injector lines and, uh, and then you can see the nitrous solenoid itself has got the four lines running out of it so this whole intake system is slowly coming to life and uh, lots going on there, boy it's all jammed in there but it's fitting finally so two tools one the cutter this is just a, a stainless steel line cutter that you can cut braided line and these are the, the cool tools um, so if you open it up you can see there's the uh, the tooling for uh, number four six and eight lines to um, make uh, happy happy fittings uh, go in so awesome